Okay, guys, I have a tuner playing the E6 key right now, and it's going to continue playing while I'm talking to you guys. But what I'm going to do right now is go into Adobe Audition and remove it right about now. It's still playing on my phone, as you can see, but it should be removed because I went into post and removed it. And I'm going to show you guys how I did this, basically how to remove a specific pitch in Adobe Audition. I'll show you guys that it's actually still playing right now. I haven't touched anything. And now I'm going to turn it off manually. Okay. That was kind of headache inducing. Okay, let's do this. All right, so now I'm in Adobe Audition and here is what I recorded. I did multiple takes because I suck at doing things in one take. And right now I'm gonna, I guess I can do it twice. Here is the pitch. All right guys, right now I have a tuner playing the key E4. And it's gonna continue playing this note throughout the conversation I'm having with you guys right now. Okay, so the E4 is a lot harder to hear for sure. So it's definitely, I think it'll be easier to cl clean up. So the way you can do that is by going into first show spectral frequency display. And you can actually see where the E4 is. If you're paying attention to the bottom, there's this like very constant line that's going on. And I think the easiest place would be right here to capture the noise print. So basically what we're going to be doing is noise removal. So let's zoom in a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is capture this as a noise print. So the way you can do that is by clicking Shift P, that's the default one. Or you can always go into Effects, Noise Reduction and Restoration, Capture Noise Print, and just click on that. And then afterwards, make sure you are out of it. And for me, because I did two takes with different ones, uh, you can see that this is a different note. I decided to go with a more audible one. I'm actually going to highlight this section and have the noise reduction only affect this area. Sometimes you can just leave it alone if it's affecting your entire clip. You don't have to highlight anything and it'll just apply to everything. But I'm going to specifically apply to here and you guys can see the difference. So let's go into noise reduction. Again, effects, noise reduction, noise reduction process. And I'm going to be here. You can see it here. So I'll just put it here. I'm going to be pretty strong with this one. Let's go 90%. And you can see this, the rest of my settings. I just hit apply. Now I'm going to undo and redo for you guys to see the difference. So I highlighted until this point. You can even see that this is still there while everything else is now gone. So. I'll play a before and after. Here is before. And then now here is after. And it's not perfect, but it is definitely um, audibly better than having the pitch there. Playing this note throughout the conversation I'm having with you guys. So that's after. And then now it's before. Or. And it's going to continue playing this note throughout the conversation I'm having with you guys right now. But so as you can hear, it did its work. Now let's do it again for this one. This one might be a lot easier to hear. Okay, guys, I have a tuner playing the E6 key right now. And it's gonna, this one's a lot, a lot easier to hear for me. So now let's find a good spot where I just have it and make it the noise print. So you can you can do that if you don't have it like perfect you can let go and then just Adjust it. So that is my noise print again shift P and now I'm gonna highlight This section right here where I was talking Command shift P Let's do it again And now you can see from this spectral frequency display remember it's right here So I can turn it off and turn it back on or even adjust the height of this thing that before, after, before, after. So let's go ahead and give it a listen. Okay, guys, I have a tuner playing the E6 key right now, and it's gonna continue playing while I'm talking to you guys. It's still playing on my phone, as you can see, but it should be removed because I went into post and removed it. And to my ears, I'm not exactly listening with headphones, but I couldn't hear it at all. So let's hear uh, before. 
six key right now. And it's gonna continue playing while I'm talking to you guys. And it's super audible right now. So that's the before and after and my gosh, it's, it makes a huge difference. So if you have like a very specific pitch annoying you to death, this is a method on how to get rid of it. So hopefully if you have this issue, you can use this method to solve that problem. This week is just gonna be a short video on how to do this, but if you're interested on a full class on how I personally enhance my dialogue audio and voiceovers, you can check out my Skillshare class dedicated to that. I'll leave a link down below where you'll get 30 days free of Skillshare Premium. And if you don't wanna continue with it, you can watch my class and then cancel the subscription, basically for free. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave it down below and I'll try my best to get back to you guys. For now, see you guys in the next video.